Hello there fellow Minecrafters, Devil from Denver here with a uh, quick tutorial on how to set up wireless redstone using command blocks. Um, this one tutorial I'm just going to be talking about how to transmit an on-off signal. Uh, so it's main, the only use is going to be for busing or maybe turning lights on around a village, something like that. Actually, I guess there's tons of uses for it. Um, I have seen a few people do tutorials on it, but none of them have really been able to get you just jump right in and know how to just, oh, this is what I need to do to program this and get going with it. So hopefully this tutorial will help you with that. Uh, as you see here, just flick the switch, push it up piston with just some old sand on it. Going underneath here, you can see I, I got my command blocks for the on-off signal being set right there nothing connecting them over to here which is my receiving block which is the one that commands the uh, piston um, the uh, first thing I guess to go into this if you don't know yet how to get a command block uh, you would go in and uh, basically it is uh, give and then yeah, I think I can just do this I will try I've never tried this before yep. Uh, 137 it is block number 137 and one yep what do you know cool uh, so there you go it is uh, just so you can see again give uh, at player or you can type in your full name if you want whichever uh, block ID is number 137 and then the quantity that you want to give yourself which in creative I only need one for however many I'm gonna build anyway uh, so up out of that um, the next thing you need to understand in this is uh, everything works on objectives. Uh, whatever you're, you're trying to accomplish to assign to these things so that they get basically know which one they're supposed to talk to. Um, and I'll show basically typing in the objectives here in a little bit and also uh, post it in the description. But for these blocks that are basically initiators on this one right now, I uh, can go in here and kind of show you. Uh, this one, the syntax is pretty much the same for all initiator blocks, um, except for these this last part here. Well, or this set. You can change that to an add, remove. There's other things I haven't messed with those yet, but there are other ones. Uh, but this one, I'm basically I've called my objective in here lamp demo, and so then I'm saying I uh, lamp demo when this is on. I set the value to one. Uh, down here on this guy, same thing, except I'm saying when this one's powered on, which it currently is, the value is zero. Uh, which, as you can see there, it's got the power going to it. Your receiving blocks. First thing, you want a very fast clock on these. Uh, credit to even Steven 1 on this one is where I saw it, and it is the quickest pulse one that I've seen with the new comparators. Uh, so it is basically constantly having this block update. It is just checking to see if uh, what I have typed in here, if it matches, if it does, it sends the power out. Uh, so what we have in here is the test 4 command on the receiving or target block. Uh, it requires the at A. You might, on all these you might be able to try the P's, R's. I really haven't played with those either. Um, in your brackets, uh, the syntax for it is score, underscore, and then your objective name. And then on this one I say equals one. So I'm saying when this uh, objective I put in is equal to one, it'll send power out. And then score underscore my objective lamp demo again, underscore min equals one. Uh, I'm not fully sure if you can do like if it's between one and three. You, I believe you can. I haven't played with that. One of these days when I get some more time and don't have to work all day. Uh, so what that basically does is once that is turned on this block is powered which then this block sees there's an update since it's being ticked constantly and it sends its power out into the piston so let's uh, build one here really quick I kinda set up some stuff just to make it quick I already got the clock and everything uh, I actually recorded this earlier screwed up figured out just leave this part so our first thing um, we need to create an objective so in this one I will just call it demo so we go in and first thing is we do a scoreboard objectives and then add and then our uh, objective name that whatever we want to call it you can have anything it, I'm sure there's probably a character limit but you can make up whatever you want in this one I'll just do demo 
and then we call it a dummy. I do believe that's because it is not uh, actually a reference to a specific player, or you know, it's not like a team game where they've kind of set up these scoreboards for. As you see, after enter, it comes up successfully, basically created it. So now I will put down my initiating block. I'm uh, only going to do this to turn on the one time. I don't want to go through the whole thing of having to invert and type in all the other commands. As you saw, it's pretty simple, and I'm sure everybody knows how to invert the signals if they're messing with this. Uh, so the command for our initiator block is scoreboard players. And then I'm doing a set command, not an add or remove, at A. And then our objective name, so in this one we called it demo. And I'm going to set the value to 1 when this is activated. Now over here, we'll put another one. And this is going to be our receiving block, which we use the uh, test4 command. And that is at A. Oops. And then we go into our brackets. Dang it no spaces this is all right after each other and that is score underscore our objective name which in this case we called it demo equals one and then again score underscore demo underscore min equals one and close bracket and finish him off now one other thing coming off the uh, command block you always need a comparator if you want to extend the signal further, you can always, of course, put a repeater right after it and you know amplify the signal. But without the uh, comparator there, it does not seem to work. So, as we see here, there it goes. Turns it on. Uh, I hope that really gives you a pretty good explanation for it. Um, oh, yep, one other thing I guess I should explain. I always almost forget this. As you see, when you're flipping these things on and off, or if you have these things going automatically, that can get annoying where it just fills up your chat bar. The way to disable that is go in and set a game rule. And this one is command with a lowercase c and then block, capital L, or capital B, excuse me, and output with a capital O and then you can set that to either true or false. We want to disable it, so we will say false, and it's been updated. Oops. Now as we flip it, we don't get that annoying message anymore. So that should hopefully do it. I will, of course, leave the uh, syntax for these commands in the description, and I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you feel like it, please leave a comment, leave a like, uh, and we will see you next time.